Jack Red. Great serve.
score. I missed Alex's goal on film. <coughs> We've been at state volleyball playoffs.
two coins of your eyes into my pockets. Yeah, but the train skates into Port Henry late Sunday. Sometimes when I'm riding high, feeling fine, you know there's something troubling, yeah, troubling my, my heart. So I reach into my pocket for some small change. I reach into my pocket for some small change. Well, I want bones like iron, blood like mercury, so I can tell you when I'm rising or when I'm sinking in. I'm sinking in. I'm sinking in. I'm sinking in. I reach into my pocket for some small change. I reach into my pocket for some small change, yeah. We're gonna take it to the people. Yeah, 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 hey, let's drink from the cup, we'll share some luck. We'll go ahead and laugh, cause it don't cost as much. No, no, it don't. Don't cast blood. Well, I say good loneliness, your lips, and the two coins of your eyes into my pockets. Yeah, I say good loneliness, your lips, and the two coins of your eyes into my pockets, yeah.
Brett was uh, started out this season as my backup center. I uh, worked his way onto the floor through just hard work and tenacity. He played some fantastic defense, which I'm sure played a huge role in us making it as far as we did because we had some concerns. And he stepped in and, and filled those unselfishly and uh, just wanted. I, I never, I never doubted who I selected for my captains. I, I picked three great ones, and I could probably pick more, but these three guys just worked out fantastic for me. Uh, my starting libero, defensive specialist, he played there last year, and uh, came back and did a fantastic job again this year. Um, he's a hockey player, brings a different kind of mentality to the volleyball court. I was quoted in the paper as saying that, and uh, I mean it. He's a tough kid. Uh, he doesn't he doesn't like to see the ball hit the floor on his side of the net. And uh, he just played uh, tenacious defense and, and uh, really helped us from a leadership standpoint. Again, just a, a great kid to have around, a great team captain. Thank you very much. Well, if, you, if you've got a co-coach, I have a co-coach as well. Uh, senior Chris Schinner. Um, this guy knows more about volleyball than what's going on in high school volleyball than you could uh, possibly imagine. We, he and I would go over scouting reports and figure out who, uh, who we needed to watch out for every time we were playing somebody. Helped us out a lot. Um, he, was, uh, he was a great, great guy to coach for two years. Uh, we're going to miss you. The program's going to miss you. Um, you did a, did a really, really nice job. You were a great captain. I really, really appreciate all your hard work. Thank you. Go to play. So, um, this is my impressive TJ. Um, I'm going to go to the floor. 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 <laughs> uh, year. Um, Courtney was a blessing to have last year and this year and I'm sure next year. She helps keep these guys together. She helps keep me even keel uh, out on the floor. Um, when I sometimes get a little too amped up, she just basically tells me to cool it and relax. And uh, that's kind of refreshing sometimes. So. <laughs> over which I think is a really good tradition uh, that was in place before I came along and uh, in, in past coaching jobs we'd always get an MVP and a most improved and, and stuff like that and I, I kind of felt awkward about those at the time but I didn't really wasn't really aware of a better way to do it until I came here and uh, Coach Savage who was here before me uh, came up with uh, give, gave out valuable player awards because I don't believe that there is a most valuable player. I think you just have valuable players. And so what I did last year and I did this year is uh, some of the guys who have you know great stats and, and things like that, I made up, uh, I made these plaques for them, these valuable player awards with their, uh, their information on them. And I, there's a few that I have here. I just wanted to hand them out real quick before uh, before we get on to the next part of our program. And 65 kills, a kill percentage of 57%, 40 aces, 11 blocks, 67 digs. Chris was a team captain. He was recognized as a first team all-conference player. Chris was also recognized as a first team all-state player. Kind of for 
forget what the score of the outcome was, but you will remember who you were with, with your teammates, and what it meant to be part of the team. That character will lead you on as you go on to the real world and stop getting into the academics and having to work for a job. It realizes the achievement of the student athlete and endures long after these games will end and will be a model for a lifetime. The young men will set excellent examples for the people coming up in the program. And it really represents what I think the best award that we can have at a high school. The Booster Club would like to recognize the accomplishments uh, towards the school and the community. The criteria for the award is simply the candidate must contribute to the team beyond the athletic ability. The candidate must be a positive citizen here at Homestead High School. They must not have any athletic code violations during the year. And this year, I'd like to award the program to Brett Commissar.